just getting home from town. We're doing our deal where we're getting stuff done for the car, stuff that we have to do. You know, you can't stay in the shop all the time probably to get everything done. We had to go get some tires changed. I often thought about getting a tire changer and that sort of stuff. But the money that they have changed and charged us, Valley Tire, to charge us to change the tires, I, would, I wouldn't I even think about getting a tire changer. Not even a chance. That was cheap, wasn't it, baby? Put tires on, cheap. Anyways, these are the dummy tires that were off the, off the rims. Now we've got the real tires that we're gonna use on the car. And we have a 17 inch buy supply excelsior tire 17 inch i'll get them out and then i'll get in the, we'll put in the gray edge but as we get going that's what we're doing and we only we only film what we're doing and this is what we're doing now uh, they're nice i like them eh? you know um, we were down to jeff's last night and seen the the wood being done doing a fantastic job there's a lot more work there than i thought the, the thought process well I didn't know exactly what's going on but as you listen to all the stuff he had to do just to get the substrate made it's quite a bit I want to check the height of the tires clean the garage up today that's what we did we cleaned it up as best we could as you can see there's a couple little projects that fall us home Project called his home. I want to let, let Doug know that I tried the the compression on that again. It's come up 20, so I'm hoping that the more I pray at night, the better it'll get. I've got a couple more tires to get. Uh, a little Suzuki 100 Gopher we acquired on the weekend. We got three of them. Uh, one is really nice. It's sitting in the living room of the house. Two of them are projects see what happens i've got a plan i don't know if it'll come together but i got a plan uh, i have to thank doug for getting the rims because that's what he done he went and got the rims for us we got a couple one day but he he managed to find them and get them and uh, get it done but here we have the gaudy wheels this thing's gonna be badass i'm telling you with uh, with jeff's wood um you know Right down to the tires and the rims and the hubcaps. This thing is going to be smoking. Where's the hubcap at? I want to try a hubcap on that. Or look at a hubcap on that. And then I picked it up and moved it. I'll be right back. Picked it up and moved it. I just want to put a hubcap on it to show you. Obviously not might because we were in town but what we think we're gonna do is is we're gonna use these Jaguar hubcaps and we'll put the little pins in these wheels and as we've seen on Jeff's 52 they were painted around around the edge of that which made them look like almost like Ralph Lauren's wheel so we'll use these center caps and then we'll use a, a trim ring and we'll paint the wheel the same color as the car. We're not telling you what that color is yet. I'm not sure if Jolene has or not, but that's what we're doing. I'm very happy with this. These tires are left over from a build. Uh, they're an Excelsior 17 inch by supply. I want to thank the tire for doing a fast, quick, cheap job, you know? Yeah, beautiful. Getting the wheels make it feels like we're going ahead all the time. Spent most of the day cleaning up the shop, moving things. I had so many things everywhere. It's just kind of cleaning up a little bit, putting the metal in the metal bin out there. I'm going to move the Jaguar engine that's on the other side, try to put the stand. Got the dash back yesterday, just the dummy dash. This is what I want to do. I want to put the steering ball in this dash so he knows where to put it when it's time. He sent Jolene some pictures of it last night. It's absolutely stunning. Mint is what I'll say. Mint. As I was running around the shop and picking things up, Jolene welded the piece on the fender. Uh, she did a beautiful job. 
And there it is. It's not ground. It's not anything. It's just butt welded on. And she did it exactly the way I would do it. She used the air, blew it off. She got nothing hot. I'm going to have to jump in and grind it off. Uh, we, pro we probably will sandblast the fender inside note. We will glass the edge of the weld. And then we will mud this piece out and we'll give back to him as a prime fender. That's what he wants. I was looking at this piece here. Um, this piece could be used um, if you want to manipulate it. Let's face it. Not everybody's going to come to this situation, you know. Um, some people would use this, and I can see how you would. You would manipulate that, do the best job you could, mud it out the best you could, and then it would be done. That would be it. Uh, it would be a nice panel, but from what I understand, that would be a nice panel to be able to buy that, and you can't. I did not know that. Um, we just made the piece because we were asked to, and that's more or less what I've done. Yeah, so that's what's going on. We just got the, the rims and tires. It's really nice to see that the rims have tires on them now because it was a big deal because we did not have anything 17 inch. We only had the 16 inch and we didn't have, have 16 inch tires. So having the 17 inch with the 70 inch tires that we have keeps the price reasonable, doesn't it? Huh? We, you know, we have uh, getting the rims, Doug's, well, Doug probably spent more time than the rims cost. Uh, say for uh, $100 for the rims, $50 to, or it was $40 to put the tires on, put the tubes in with, you know, pretty cheap set of wheels. And we have a, we have a 20 inch, 28 inch tall tire, or 27 half, 28 inch tall. That's a nicer, taller tire than we had with the 16 inch, I enjoy that. This is gonna be really nice. Um, and I know that because of Jeff's car looked beautiful on there. What do you think of a little motorbike? Uh, we, we found a motorbike on Marketplace. Jolene said, let's go look at it. The price was right. We got three of them. One of them we have in our living room now. Looks to be in really good shape. The guy that sold it to us was nice. You know, just as friendly as anything. He was just getting rid of him. He had his time. But we had two bikes that are almost there. Like this bike is damn near complete and all the parts are over there in the box. Then there's a, a third bike that I have over there. I have an idea, see what happens. Uh, the compression ratio is coming up on the engine. I'm thinking that the valve might be just stuck a little bit. It might be able to be, you know, freed up if it got running a little bit. Jolene did an awesome job on that. Got the garage sort of cleaned up. And now I'm over on this side now trying to pick up the Jaguar engine and put it in this stand. We're probably going to end up taking the head off it and uh, going from there and see if we can get something done. But what a cool little bike. The one we have down in the living room is a blue one. It looks like it's got original paint on it. The exhaust is nice. The wheels are nice. Uh, it's just a, a fun little toy I see. This one here I think should be brought back to original. You know, it's so close. And this one over here, I have a Farron kit that I got when I traded Earl. I, I got the found, I traded Earl. Um, what did I trade Earl? I traded him something there. A t-shirt press machine. But anyways, I got, he gave me this, not give me, I traded this fairing kit. And I see this fairing kit going on this motorcycle. I think it would be fun to paint it up, you know, in any color that we want. It'd be a silk, single cylinder two stroke, so it wouldn't be, it would be fast enough to hurt you. But it would be fun to see this fairing kit on the bike and make it look the way you want to. I would change the seat, the shocks, I would change it all, but we'll see what happens. A father's got to like a lot of projects, <laughs> you know? But anyways, we're still going ahead. We got the wheels on the car, or the wheels changed on the car, which is exciting. They are by supply. They would look the part when the car is sitting there. That's what I really like. I don't think it's going to give, you know, quite the ride or not just handling that she would probably want, but let's face it, you know, you're not going to be driving it all over the place. I'm sure you're going to be using it. But uh, that little six-cylinder engine should zing them right along. They still got the knobbies on them and everything. So they're, I know they're brand new. They've never been, they've never been used. Never been used. The hubcaps are a great idea. Jack's got some extra ones, I guess. We'll see what that goes like. Maybe tomorrow I'll come in and, and get the dash put in place and... Uh, drill a hole and show you how this works, how you take that apart and how that works. It's not much to it, but there has to be one in the dash and one in the firewall. 
the piece on the fender is looking, I'm very happy with it. Jolene did a beautiful job on it. Thank you very much. And as you turn around and look at this, this is the hours. We, there's four hours put on that. You know which way you look at it. The first video was two hours or something close to it. Then you had another hour to put it on. Then there was another hour of Jolene um, welding it on. Uh, it's, it's a four hour piece right now as we stand. We're four hours into it. I don't know what others are saying than that. Things take time. And if you do not see them being done, then you would never know. And it's just like that dash. You would never know that he had to nail wood or glue wood all the way to the outside of the substrate. So when he put the veneer on it, that he could fortify that edge to run the veneer into the hardwood of the edge of the dash. There's so much work that was there that I did not see until he explained it to me. There's a lot of work there. You didn't have to veneer both sides, have to glue wood around all the way around the, all the edges of it. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of work. Not hard work, but it takes time. And you know what time is worth? It's worth more than money. Time is worth more than money. And you'll figure that out when you're laying there someday. You'll figure that out. But I have figured it out. Time is worth more than money. Alrighty, we're happy that we got the wheels on. I'm just going to keep moving forward. I want to try to get the engine in that stand. There's, it's hard to show you putting in, an engine in a stand, but I, you know, I could. Um, I would try to get this maybe sandblasted and show how I fill it out. And then we'll keep continuing on with the dash of the steering column and all that sort of stuff. All right, have a good one. And that's what we're doing. And that's all we tell you is what we're doing. Love you, Jolene. <laughs> Car's going to look awesome. The dash. Jeff sent some pictures of the dash. You got it together. Whew, man, they go look beautiful. What a nice piece of wood. <laughs> have a good day, everybody.